Florida Congressman Byron Donalds joins me now. Sir, this is going to be front and center. You are also on a short list. I'm sure the, the conversations about illegal immigration are front and center in your office as well. Uh, it is. It's been that way, uh, frankly, since Joe Biden's been president of the United States. I mean, look, Carl, it's been a flat out disaster. It doesn't have to be this way. And I'm glad you played that 2005 clip of then Senator Barack Obama, because it demonstrates how far and how radical Joe Biden and the Democrat Party have gone since that time. It was Barack Obama who got very left wing when it came to border security. Joe Biden, obviously very left wing, but it is every Democrat that supports the radicalism that is invading our country. And so this is why in the House we passed HR2 more than 400 days ago. Chuck Schumer doesn't even want to look at it, doesn't want to even debate it, doesn't even want to negotiate with House Republicans on what's the best way to, to secure the border. So America, this is simple. We have to have the right leadership that takes that takes this seriously that starts with Donald Trump and people elected to both chambers in Congress who are going to get the job done unfortunately in our politics today the only party that's taking this seriously is the Republican Party the Democrat Party frankly does not care they are kowtowing to the liberal elites in in San Francisco and in Manhattan they mm -hmm. do not care about what's happening in America yeah well see so, you know obviously you're on the short list for VP we've seen. Um, I'm not going to ask you to reveal anything or not. However, um, you know, you're a get it done sort of guy. I've, I've followed you throughout your career. And it's it's one of these things like Trump meets with all the leaders and he met with a bunch of people at the Capitol Hill Club last week. And, you know, his last presidency had a big problem because when he got into office, he literally didn't have enough political people to, to staff an administration. Now he does. Now he knows. Are you guys prepared to have bills lined up on his desk day one for him to start signing should the Senate go Republican as well? Uh, we, we will be ready for that. And this is something I've been advising the leadership on for months now. We got to get ready. There cannot be another situation where everybody's too busy taking pictures with their with their gavels and at the White House instead of getting the job done. Uh, look, Carl, I'll tell you, when I got into politics, I told my district, you basically got about 10 years out of me. That's it. And then I'm going home because we don't have time for people to sit around and be applauded. You got to go in, do the work. If it means you work five days a week, Week, that's what you do. If it means you work three weeks straight, that's what you do. Because the American people can no longer afford Washington as usual. Donald Trump is ready to bring action to the executive to fix the problems that Joe Biden created and also the problems that Barack Obama created. Because the American people come first. We, there's no more time for wasted time and wasted people. Yeah. Well, let's get down to some of the other issues that are going to obviously HR2 has been passed. There's, you may get you guys may have some updates to that by the time Donald Trump gets around to getting elected. Um, but let's talk yeah. about the issue of this migration that's going to be uh, front and center for the next debate. OK, so what is Joe Biden going to like? What's his talking point here to say that he's had some success story here? Because the administration is saying, oh, like, don't believe this. It's not that bad. He's going to say that, oh, the Senate bill was good, but Donald Trump blocked it. That's a lie. When the when the elements of the Senate bill were being leaked on X, House Republicans from Speaker Johnson all down, we rejected the bill based upon what we were being, what was being reported on social media. The press on Capitol Hill said, you can't do that. And you have to wait for the full bill. And I remember I told the press, I said, if the full bill sounds anything like it's in these tweets, I'm telling you right now, it's dead on arrival in the House. Yeah. So Joe Biden's going to say, oh, Donald Trump tried to kill the Senate immigration bill. That's a lie. Joe Joe Biden's also going to say that he wants comprehensive immigration reform. But here's the reality. When he first came into office, Nancy Pelosi was Speaker of the House. Chuck Schumer still had control over the Senate. They didn't bring a comprehensive immigration bill yeah. to either floor. They didn't try to solve immigration. The Democrats want to use this for political purposes. They do not want solutions because they've had opportunities right. to bring solutions and they have not done it.